Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert and welcome to my review, my long-awaited review of this baby. This is the business end of the Slate VMS, the virtual microphone system. Now the Slate VMS is a three-part solution, if you like. It's the microphone, it's the VMS One Mic Pre, which I have on the desk, and it's the virtual mix rack software with added goodies to make this all kind of work together. I'm very, very excited to be testing this. I think the VMS was announced originally back now in 2015. It might have even been 2014. Not sure on that one. Um, but they have become a very rare beast. The first batch of production vanished off the shelves. So I'm very lucky to have got one of the first ones to land in Europe. Now this review is going to be just that. It's going to be a review of the three elements of the system. It's not going to be a direct comparison between the Slate VMS and other uber expensive microphones like U47s, U67s, C12s, all that sort of thing. For many reasons. One, I don't have those microphones, nor do I have access to those microphones. And two, it's not really a fair comparison because we know that those mics back in the 50s, 60s and 70s were made with components of maybe 20% tolerance. So to say that the one, I, the C12 I have in my left hand and the C12 I have in my virtual right hand are going to be the same is just ridiculous. The two mics, two mics of that era are never ever going to sound the same. So as I don't have the mics that Slate used when they modelled those original microphones for the VMS system, it's not fair and it's a bit like trying to compare apples to pomegranates. It just doesn't work. What this review is, is going to be a review of the system, how it works and how it sounds. And that's the most important thing. If you get the sound you like, then fabulous. That's all that matters. So the microphone itself is actually a fairly simple thing. There's an XLR on the bottom um, and that's about it. A normal three pin XLR. Um, other than that, it's a very lovely place to be behind. Um, I shall put the pop shield up for when I'm actually singing. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Let's go down and have a look at the VMS One Mic Pre. So here we are up close and personal on the Ultra Linear Microphone Preamp. Well, that's what it says here. Uh, and this is the Mic Pre with the VMS One system. We have a nice big gain pot in the middle and we have six other controls. The input select between mic and instrument input. We have polarity, either in phase or 180 degrees off. We have a level indicator LED, the power switch, the 48 volt phantom power switch, because of course the Slate VMS is a condenser mic, and a pad. Around the back, it's a very simple beast. Uh, we have the DC input and output for the power supply, meaning I'm sure that you can loop these together requiring only one power supply unit, which is very handy. We have the mic stroke line input on a combi XLR and line out over XLR or TRS jack. So we've looked at the microphone, the business end. We've looked at the ultra linear microphone preamp and now comes the interesting bit. This is the Slate virtual mix rack software. And of course, this is where all the interesting stuff happens. This is where the emulations take place. So uh, what I've done is from my selection of Slate goodies that I have available to me, I've pulled in the virtual microphone collection and the FG73 Mic Pre. Now, we all know what it's supposed to be, so I'm not going to drive it too hard because, of course, as you know, as I drive it harder and harder and harder, we get to that kind of lovely um, English, British saturation sound, and I want to keep it quite clean for now. Uh, I'm not really going to go too far down the mic preamp route because these have been available for a while. What makes things interesting is this bit. At the moment you're hearing my voice through an FG47. We all know what it's supposed to be. Let's click down here and change to the FG800. Now even in my ears and my relatively inexpensive headphones I can hear there's a real change in the tonality of my voice. I have this intensity slider which of course I can kick it all the way over to 150% if I want to to really change things up. But actually I think that's kind of over the pudding a little bit. I think the nice thing about these simulations is the subtleties. So let's click on mics again and let's go for a 251. One of my favourite microphones. I would love the real thing. Or actually, would I? Because quite frankly, it would spend most of its time in pieces on the test bench. Change it up again. A 67. 
and you can really hear the change. I'm trying to stay at a consistent level away from the microphone with a pop shield in the way. Um, I'm probably about three, four inches, so I'm fairly close, but I like that kind of intense sort of sound on a voiceover. I like it to sound, sound quite, you know, quite in your face. Let's change it up again to an FG12. Again, the, the C12 capsule, I absolutely adore. Any mic with that style of capsule in is going to sound fantastic to me. It just seems to work for my voice. Uh, an M7. A real change, an absolute change in tonality, in kind of um, detail, if you like, in my voice. The 800M. I tried one of the real things of these recently and really adored it, but then saw the price tag. Um, I just think they've done a cracking job on getting really, really good simulations. Okay, I have no way of testing. This is the 269. No way of testing this against the real thing because I haven't got 40,000 quid to go and spend on about five microphones. I'm not brain dead. I just think this thing is going to give you a microphone that's going to work for any style of vocalist you're working with. Whether it says 67, 47, 87 on it, doesn't really matter as long as it's working for your vocalist. However, let's go back to that rather lovely FG12. Oh, it just seems to work for my voice really well. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll play back the very short piece that I've recorded, uh, acoustic guitar, uh, steel string acoustic guitar, nylon string, and vocal, and I'll do five passes. It's only 40 seconds long, so it's worth it. Uh, I'll do five passes. We'll leave the preamp the same, which of course is a really big part of the VMS system. There are lots of different preamps that you can choose from. I've chosen the FG73, the, the British one. We all know what it's trying to be, because um, I really, really like it. I could swap it out for a 76, which again, totally changes the character of what you're hearing. Let me boost it up a little bit. Two, 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 there we go. Bit more drive, bit more drive. The real thing in real life is a stunning preamp, but you've got to find one. You've got to find one of the real things. I think that's a beautiful sounding preamp. Even without the preamp, it's a pretty damn fine sounding box. Let's bring that back. Bring up the level a little bit. One, two, yeah, I'm loving that. That sounds absolutely incredible. So it wouldn't be one of my reviews without some kind of track. Um, we've kept it fairly simple this time. Three parts. A vocal, a rhythm acoustic guitar, and a nylon string acoustic guitar lead line. And what we're going to do is swap all the mic types and all the preamp types at the same time. Now, of course, we could um, keep changing the configuration, change one mic, change this mic. We'd be here all night. So what I've done is we've got recorded the same kind of 30 second track. You'll hear it a number of times with different microphones and different preamp configurations. Um, I'll show you as we go through on the track what you're, what you're hearing. Um, and hopefully you'll hear the difference. Now, whether you think that the C12 model or the FG12 model, as it's called in the VMS system, sounds like a C12, quite frankly, I don't care. Um, I think they sound pretty accurate. What I'm really trying to get across is how different all the mics in the system sound and how they can um, colour your recordings. And I think that's the trick. It's colour. Let's not try and say it sounds like a real C12 because quite frankly, I couldn't tell you. If you've got a C12 at home, then fabulous. I don't. Uh, so yeah. Now the other elephant in the room, of course, that you haven't heard me mention is the other one of the kind of um, virtual modelled microphone systems. That is the Townsend Lab Sphere. I can already hear you yelling, why aren't you doing a direct comparison between Sphere and the VMS system? Well, once again, I don't actually think it's a fair comparison. The VMS is an entire ecosystem. It is the microphone, it's the mic pre, it's the model. And it's also the model of the mic pre's, remember, because in the virtual mix rack software, we can combine EQs, compressors, mic pre's, and the microphone models to create an amazing channel strip. Of course, you can't do that with the Townsend Labs. The other main difference between the Townsend Labs and the Slate VMS is that the Townsend is a dual diaphragm system. The Slate has only a single diaphragm, so it's great on axis, nice and close, so you get that kind of proper proximity effect, kind of real microphone, kind of real world sound. 
Now, again, I'm not going to compare the two in this way because it's like comparing apples and oranges. They are two completely different fruit or microphones, if you will. So in this review, you won't hear me do direct comparisons between the two systems because I don't believe it's fair. However, if by the end of this review, you're thinking that this kind of virtual microphone technology, this kind of modeled mics and modeled pre's and all that sort of stuff is working and it's working for you, then quite frankly, this technology wins. It wins the argument. It wins the whole thing about, right, well, I've got £17,000 to spend. I'm going to go and buy a microphone that, quite frankly, in three weeks' time could pack up and require another £1,000 worth of investment to get it back up and running. With modern microphones, you know there isn't that level of shock factor when it comes to repair. Because, quite frankly, they don't need repairing. Yeah, throw it down the stairs, it might. But there isn't that level of, oh my god, is my vintage C12 going to die at any time? And trust me, if you've ever used them, and I have, they do. These don't. They are just great workhorses that produce great tones. So with that in mind, let's play back the track. Let's have a listen to some of the different models. We'll go through as many as we can without boredom. Uh, it's only a short piece, so it won't be too bad. Uh, and quite frankly, listen for yourselves. I think this thing sounds great. I never felt more like feeling in love The night you first asked me to dance I wish that I was with you tonight Holding my hand Underneath the starlight me to dance I wish that I was with you tonight holding my hand underneath the starlight enjoyed that look and listen to the Slate virtual microphone system, the VMS. Um, I'm sure the guys at Slate are, as even as we speak, working on new models, new pre's, new stuff for the virtual mix rack system. It's a really great um, ecosystem, if you like, uh, a workflow ecosystem that allows you to get great sounds really, really quickly. And let's face it, these days, speed and great tone is what it's all about. 
I've been James from Pro Tools Expert. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again soon for some more gear talk.